Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, it's Matrix here. In today's video I'm gonna cover the most overpowered high rounds glitch on Cold War Zombies. And you can do this glitch with two ray guns as well and I'm gonna show you it all to you guys. So are you guys ready? Before we start make sure to subscribe, please drop a like and hit the notification bell if you want to stay up to date. For this glitch we obviously need a ray gun and you can copy the ray gun with another glitch as well which is super easy to do. So you can have two ray guns and even get a few for your teammates. All you need to do is swap weapon then press square to interact with the pack a punch machine and then tear it up. And now you can see I have two ray guns. It's a super easy glitch and super overpowered because you can uh, give all your teammates the ray gun as well. If you swap it here with another gun on the wall there is a ray gun on the ground and he can pick it up. And you can repeat this process again. Sit on this AFK spot and you can also uh, uh, interact with the pack a punch machine and you can copy it so swap weapon then interact with pack a punch machine and then tear up and then when you swap back again you will see that you have uh, uh, two ray guns in your hand and you can keep copying them as much as you like now for today's glitch it's very important that you're going to leave that one closed so you want to make your way through the weapon lab towards the particle accelerator room and that way you're gonna uh, go in the color room and because the door is closed the zombies will only spawn on these certain spots where you want them to spawn and not through uh, that they will not come through the door right there in front of you now all you need to do is go on this spot uh, sit go in crouch position on the corner right here and then I'm gonna skip to a higher round so I can show you guys how this glitch works really, really well. Uh, obviously you have two ray guns, but you can do this glitch easily with one ray gun. Make sure to tear it up as the, the rounds go higher, so it gets more powerful, obviously. And the other thing that is very useful to use is uh, the energy mines, the frost blast glitch, uh, or the energy mines glitch where you have two energy mines, or uh, just the ring of fire. So uh, you can kill all the zombies from round 30 off. Uh, you can kill them with a blast of the ring of fire. Now, but if you just sit here, it's really easy to go to the lower uh, rounds. Um, I'm, I didn't get too high, but I've seen uh, multiple videos on it uh, where people got really, really high on this uh, in high rounds on this uh, uh, on this glitch, and it's super easy. And the best thing of it is that the bosses won't spawn unless you leave the spot. When you leave the spot, the boss will come, but you can easily kill this boss with your ray guns, and that is over and done with really, really quickly. But you can also choose just to stay in the spot. Pick up all the power-ups which you can uh, reach or they will even be picked up automatically because they will spawn very near uh, next to you. And this glitch is really, really overpowered. As you see, I'm using here um, the unlimited energy mines glitch. All you need to do is to use the energy mine, kill one zombie and it will be t on two again. Uh, or you're just going to use the ring of fire after round 30 and you definitely want to use that one in case you want to kill the bosses easily or uh, all the zombies uh, really really quickly so use this glitch to get uh, a lot of xp and uh, yeah check it out for yourself my name is matrix make sure to drop a like and i'll see you guys on the next one ciao Everybody. 